Formatı. I'm unable to switch on the video. Yes, Corona Wuzi, I can't see you, but I can hear you. Uh, the challenge is the video now. Sorry? The challenge now is uh, video. Yeah, yeah, I can see you, but I can, I can hear you, but I can't see you. I don't have an option of switching on. The... You do on my side uh, yeah because i was uh, the other one worked okay okay yeah there we go we have succeeded yes how are you well yourself i'm very well uh, Wonderful. Um, we we have started actually. We are live on we are live on our social media pages. Um, so welcome everybody to another episode of our webinar. Um, today we have with us Comrade Mabusiempe. Um, he is the national chairperson of the Young Communist League of South Africa in. Uh, yeah, in South Africa. <laughs> um, Corinne was in the um, Yovai. Are you okay? Can you hear me? That seems uh, a little bit of a challenge. Are you, can you hear me? Unmute your, unmute your, your mic. Yeah, I can hear you. You can hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay, no. Um, sorry about that. Um, um, are you, are you fine? I'm fine. And yourself? Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, thank you for, for, for being with us in today's episode of our webinar series. Um, um, for those who are not familiar with us, we are Africa for Palestine. We are a Palestine human rights organization doing solidarity work in the continent. Um, our aim is to raise awareness on the Palestinian cause and to try and we are succeeding in pushing back Israeli influence in the continent. We work with various organizations, mainly in civil society, trade unions, political organizations, different religious organizations and movements, mosques, churches, and NGOs and peers across the continent that identify with what we are doing. Um, so we've been running a number of webinar series on our page. If you go to the video section of our page, there's a number of live videos that have been saved on the video section of our webinar series that we do in and around the question of Palestine and internationalism. Uh, today we are joined, like I said, by Mawu Sempe, who is with the Young Communist League of South Africa. Um, I would say, um, are you with us? Yes, yes, I'm with you. Okay, great. Um, just um, before we begin, just tell us about yourself and the work that you do. Um, <laughs> hey, your question sound like uh, that one of interview when you go for job interview, but it's fine. Uh, I'm the young activist of uh, Young Communist League uh, of South Africa. And uh, the work that I do, I serve as a national chairperson of Fifth National Committee, and the work that I do is a collective work of collective in the organization. Uh, I don't do uh, individual work. 
Yeah, that is a short and brief uh, in terms of when you ask the question. Uh, unless if you want us to speak about the role of uh, national chairs. <laughs> Um, we just I wanted to know who you are and then we're in personally so our viewers and audience can get a little glimpse into who we are talking to today. Um, thank you for that short entry. Oh, short bio. Yeah, no, no, no okay. it's, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. We, we got yeah, it, we got yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I'm National Chairperson of YCL and activist in South Africa. All right, uh, thank you for that. Um, I would say it's from the north of the South African country. Uh, yeah. The northern province uh, used to be called, now it's called Limpopo. That's where it's based. Me and him are from the same province. Um, yeah. So let's get into it. Um, the YCL, the Young Communist League of South Africa, is a, it's a communist movement. It's, a, it's an organization with a communist worldview. Um, so if you can please um, dissect for us internationalism um, with, within that aspect, uh, aspect for, for our audience and our viewers. Well, first I can speak about uh, uh, international strategic initiative that, are, that remain critically important to ensure that uh, across uh, the world where we have a uh, level of commonality, we have uh, mobilization and cooperation as organization in order to produce a uh, objective assessment, global material condition, and also to depend efforts for building uh, international cohesion in one country to country to country. Uh, for more mass space and unifying revolutionary engagement. Um, as communist uh, manifesto, well, I just allow me to just uh, note it. Uh, it speaks about the need of consist constantly uh, expanding uh, our understanding about uh, global uh, uh, contradictions and in the main is the uh, working class and uh, capitalism. So we, we will speak about working class internationalism, which is uh, what we do, international solidarity, uh, working class internationalism, we'll speak about uh, our own, our own self as an organization, uh, the formation of Young Communist League of South Africa in 1922. Uh, I can say this a lot about uh, our self as young people and internationalism. YCL from one said has been always uh, uh, captured in the resolution of the Young Communist International uh, molded by uh, molded by what you call all union Leninist Communist League of youth, better known as Komsomol. Yeah, I think uh, uh, Ali. In short, I can say. In short, I can say it's profound to note that the unit of Young Communist League, SLS 1920s till today, the world is, is in need of generation of young people that can stand against the vibe. And the nature of global imperialism strive for better with less inequality. And that is what actually uh, we can say a lot about Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, you, yes, you can say a lot about our role as an organization uh, uh, globally. Yeah. Um, there's a there's a um, quite a, a famous slogan, a famous uh, quote 
from the Communist Manifesto that the workers of the world unite. You have nothing to lose but your chains. Um, one can one can translate that to oppressed people of the world, um, as we've seen with history of oppression, history of the liberation struggle across the world, that oppressed people of the world unite. Um, you have also nothing to lose but your chains. Um, would you would you agree? Because as your organization uh, says that the fight is against capitalism and imperialism, that oppressed people of the world should unite because they have a common enemy. Indeed, indeed, uh, I, I agree. Uh, I think firstly we must defeat uh, imposed policies which seeks to extend nations' authority by uh, territorial accusation by, of economic and political hegemony over other nations and divisions of territory of the globe amongst the highest capitalist powers. And this view must be defeated through socioeconomic uh, based uh, on public ownership. Uh, we as communists will speak about socialism uh, that on its own can assist the workers of the world to, to unchain uh, uh, the, the chains that uh, they are saying they have nothing to lose but they are chained in order to liberate themselves against um, uh, the kingdom of uh, high capitalist powers. Uh, I, I, as we have seen the development of the uh, inward looking trends and one steadily against its entrenchment amongst working classes of the world. Uh, we can correctly uh, point out USAS tended uh, inwardly. We are today witness the worst versions of inward looking tendencies of the United States driven by an even more uh, manical and er erratic uh, Mr. Trump, you know, Trump. So you, you would understand that this is a certain note, of course, that working uh, class has brought to tears in their doorstep, in their own land, in their own con economic territory. And on their own, they must uh, provide their own uh, ability to defeat and overcome uh, in order to unchain themselves. Uh, that is my view around what you have uh, seen. For example, I can say in short, as I conclude on your question, you look uh, inward looking trends that has also gripped many parts of Europe and uh, and this shown through their treatment of the refugee crisis. And when we speak about refugee crisis, we speak about the working uh, workers of the world. We speak about prison uh, uh, and etc. They have used this um, uh, challenge faced by the working people and the poor as excuses. Uh, to fend off uh, immigrants spilling out of conflicts in Africa, in Persia, in the Arab world. And this reminds me uh, the argument of uh, Comrade uh, Fidel Castro, uh, where he spoke about that we, we ought to build uh, around our world, a, a strong national sentiment that is not uh, in the exclusionary way of excluding the working class and the workers of the world. And our understanding is that the world has to develop in a internationalist sentiment because we wouldn't be internationalist. Uh, or possess a doctrine of worldwide solidarity if we begin to blame other nations. And that is uh, my view that the workers of the world must unite. Uh, 
speaking of uh, workers of the world uniting and, and, and the fight against imperialism, the common enemy, you, we, we are seeing a trend of uniting bloc, the global imperialist right-wing bloc that is uniting in its gender. Um, are, we, are we seeing a left uniting or are we seeing the disintegration of um, the left global, especially in the global south? Uh, firstly, I, I, have obs I have observed that uh, there is supposed international integra integration and with limited human connectivity, interchange of world views, like ideas of interdependence that represent a major factor in globalization. So the lessons I, I learned on the contemporary revolutionary theory and practice as well as very lessons of revolutionary internationalism, which is today a subject matter. Uh, for, for the purpose of our engagement, uh, Comrade Ali, due to time constraint, I have, I've looked uh, on a specific, uh, you'll pardon me, on a specific, uh, to answer your question on a specific chapter, uh, which is titled uh, Cuba and uh, New Liberal Globalization, which I think is important to note its work, uh, is the reference to the breed of revolutionaries that have in the contemporary period developed uh, alternative perspective on uh, globalization. Uh, which establishing this alternative globalization movement as Comrade Castro and uh, Ro Ro Ronette mentioned something uh, men on this platform may be familiar with uh, the, those who are watching now that, let me just quote a bit where I remember uh, that we, a new generation of rebels, that is what Comrade uh, uh, Castro uh, spoke about. And I want to respond to uh, what you, you are speaking about, about the global right uh, united. I think they are, the right wing are united on a false, uh, 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 false concrete analysis of uh, material conditions of society, but they analyze what is uh, in their favorable condition uh, because they, they are economies and their situation, their economic and political territories are shaking, uh, even given the current condition. And in, in that uh, 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 conditions, uh, as they are, uh, they are trampling, they are trying to employ new methods, which I think the working class also, the, the, the left uh, axis is also uh, united in terms of, uh, in order to defeat and uh, conquer uh, the lords of the world. That's why now they are trembling because the conditions are not uh, the same. That's why they, they are having tactics of trying to do a reconfiguration, uh, particularly on the, uh, the, the growth, the economic growth and political path. Firstly, on economic uh, path, First law on uh, dislocation of uh, 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 dislocation of working class power. Uh, so, but unfortunately, is ourselves as a working class that we must uh, uh, win that uh, uh, th that uh, struggle as a force of a uh, new rebels as uh, uh, our leaders explaining.
But I think the task, lastly, uh, I think the task in the hands of ourselves as revolutionary is to continue to expose the weaknesses in the development of capitalism and configure the means at the global disposal, at least to end or subvert new liberal policies that have shackled most of our countries and also arresting potential of individual and uh, collective uh, youth. Yeah, that is uh, my input around uh, your question. Um, thanks for that. We we we've, we've witnessed um, the 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 really growing unity of, of the global right, especially in Latin America. And, and let's use Latin America as a point of reference uh, on this particular point. Uh, that this we've seen um, the collapse of a worker-controlled government in Brazil. Um, the offensive on Congo Lula. We, we've seen the United States um, economic terrorism and offensive in Venezuela that is continuing even now with the help of course of neighboring countries. We've seen um, the coup in Bolivia um, and we have seen the right wing government in Chile in, with the uprisings and protests. Is there a legitimate response to this from the, from the global left per se? Are, are we responding to this particular um, unity and resurgence of right-wing unity adequately? Of course, I think we, we, we do. Firstly, we must assess that uh, what is the dominating posture currently, particularly on the uh, Venezuela, Brazil, and where you, you see your, uh, your Bolsonaro, what do you call his name, Bolsonaro? I can't pronounce his name uh, properly because uh, I, I don't like him. But we, I think we're making inroads and through the international solidarity and corporations, uh, I think the left is doing very well in terms of uh, uh, resisting a force that come with a competitive structure uh, of capitalism that need uh, to making the working class to succumb to their political posture, uh, more especially the capitalist in uh, their imposition of economic uh, policy. I think when I make this uh, point, I have a conviction that uh, the working class in, the, uh, in uh, Latin America will overcome this through resistance uh, they can overcome uh, and also to build their own, uh, their internal uh, capacity. Uh, and then also if globally the BRICS uh, intensify their solidarity around uh, the, the, the party to party relations, uh, international solidarity, I think we'll win the war. Uh, around that uh, question that you are raising. Because I also observe the, uh, that there's a much violence against uh, women and children. Uh, you look uh, total disregard of uh, environment. Uh, you, you have witnessed environmental degradation. And uh, you, you, you have witnessed uh, continued ma marginalization of uh, people with disability in the world, seriously rising and uh, seriously rising and unaffordable education and health and cost to those uh, countries. And if as a left organization around the world, 
we don't respond to this volatile uh, situation that is affecting all of us, uh, we will fail. We certainly need uh, a stronger social uh, responsive uh, and capable states uh, through cooperations of other countries. Uh, that is my view, uh, uh, Ali. Um, th thanks, thanks for that. Um, you, your, your organization, um, the Young Communist of South Africa, um, says that uh, the situation in Israel and Palestine um, is, is, uh, characterizes Israel as, a, Israel as a settler colonial imperialist project. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm getting it, the phrasing correct. Um, but uh, would you please deliberate on that? Um, why, why the organization sees Israel as a settler colonial imperialist project? Well, why the, why there is um, uh, the obstacle that con, 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 constrict or restrict uh, uh, self determination, where it uh, there is a creation or maintenance of unequal economic, cultural or religious, political economy over the other nation. Or the other thing that I can say, monopoly over Palestine, uh, 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 that has disrupted uh, self-determination. Uh, if you have uh, followed uh, the news, Palestinian Authority after announcement by President uh, Mahmoud Abbas began implementing plans to end all agreements and understanding with Israel and uh, United States, including those on security as a result of Israel's intent to annex parts of West Bank. As Young Communist League of South Africa, uh, we made a stance, I think, at our 98th anniversary that we will support the progressive move by Palestinian authority against US uh, Israel imperialism. Both Israel and United States should be condemned and should be isolated uh, from the rest of the world. For this respect in peace agreements, especially OSLO peace accord, basically the accords uh, called for the withdrawal of Israel forces from Gaza Strip, West Bank, and affirm a Palestinian a right to self-government and creation of a Palestinian uh, interim self-governing um, authority. I think uh, Palestine has a right to self-determination and uh, sovereignty. And this uh, deliberate uh, imperialist onslaught on Palestine is anti-global peace and uh, far more west, west uh, than a uh, colonial character. Uh, remember also South Africa, we, 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 we gauge, uh, we actually equate uh, apartheid South Africa uh, with uh, apartheid uh, Israel. Hence our stance as an internationalist organization around uh, uh, the issue. And uh, we can allow uh, a, a country like Palestine uh, being suffocated uh, by uh, Israel, uh, where there are illegal occupations, uh, uh, killings of uh, People, this is against humanity, and it's a very painful situation that, as internationalist organization that promote uh, humanitarian struggles uh, for the total liberation and uh, self determination of our people, uh, is something that, as an organization, we stand for, and uh, we believe that 
actually Palestine and uh, Swaziland, uh, Western Sahara, uh, Sahawari Sah people. These are the uh, struggles that unequivocally we must maintain ourselves, continue to uh, fight uh, those struggles because uh, if we don't do so, we are, we, if we remain silent, one of the challenges is that uh, the future generation that must take over will inherit nothing, will uh, not have their, uh, they will lose their culture, they will lose their self-determination, and we don't wish it to any country. So that is uh, our view around the issue. Uh, uh, yeah, um, uh, you, you, your organization has been extremely, um, very, very active in the solidarity organization in South Africa for, for viewers and audience who are not aware. Um, the Young Communist League and the South African Communist Party have been at the forefront of solidarity campaigns with Palestine Pacific in this country for years now with uh, very, very practical campaigns and very, very practical actions um, towards Palestinians, including participating um, in the BDS campaign, the Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions campaign. Um, one of the campaigns that uh, the YC has been involved in for, for a couple of years now is, is for the South African government to expel the Israeli ambassador in South Africa. Um, is it still the campaign? Um, and uh, why, why, why that particular campaign specifically? Uh, well, like I said earlier, uh, we are still on the campaign and we still maintain it. Uh, where there is a, a crime against humanity, we are intolerable. Where there is a, a deliberate act of uh, uh, denying people to for self determination, where you deny a person a basic right to life. As an organization and a caring organization that is internationalist organization, we will continue to wage and sustain our campaigns because uh, our silence it will uh, mean that we are making endorsement uh, to the crime against humanity you um, you you have successfully uh, one might argue you have successfully built an organization that has strong consciousness in and around internationalism. Um, to other youth formations and youth organizations in the continent of Africa, in Palestine, in Europe, in Asia, and other leftist organizations, what would you advise them um, on building a very strong conscious youth um, internationalist organizations? Well, Firstly, we must identify commonality uh, uh, in order to achieve that uh, uh, advice. Firstly, we must understand that globally we have uh, uh, common struggle uh, around uh, youth uh, uh, challenges. Firstly, I can speak about uh, uh, dehumanizing unemployment, uh, um, discouraging uh, uh, poverty. Actually, 
discouraging nationalist uh, organization must uh, uh, focus on. The second thing that I, I want to speak on is uh, the common working class strike in, even uh, the common working class strike in that all uh, international organization are, are faced. Are you, are you are you still with us, Comrade Mahmoud? Exactly. Hello? Oh, yeah. No, no. I was asking if you're still with us. Okay, sure. It was a little bit of a network. If you continue, please. Okay. You can hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, what I want to say is that Advising them is not an easy task uh, for me because uh, you look on our nation, what we call a national question, our national interest uh, and uh, global uh, challenges that uh, young people are, 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 fa are faced with. Uh, are faced with uh, in 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 the country is um, is something that young people must unite around there. Uh, the other thing that I'm trying to think is that we need to identify a program that we can focus on on youth mobilization. Uh, on uh, ideological strike globally because we are a socialist organization and our teachings must be around that. And it's not, uh, it's not something that, what your question is, is, is very voluminous in terms of, uh, how do I put it? Um, in terms of looking at uh, task at hand of young people globally, is one is to have determination around the course of our struggle of the working class, and also fight and defend uh, defeat the marginalization of youth in the participatory democracy. These are the, some of the things I think uh, internationally young people must uh, look at. Look, we must, we can also focus on campaigns uh, that we share commonality on environment. Uh, there is a question of uh, human trafficking. These are campaigns that young people globally must focus on. Uh, there is, uh, I spoke about environment. Uh, there is another one that uh, of uh, communication, which is, uh, you say is ICT, the, uh, the access of uh, internet of things, which is still, uh, a challenge, and I think it's one of the things also. We can actually do a mobilization and cooperations uh, around programs uh, as internationalist organization, uh, because such programs will assist us to 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 win uh, the victory. For example, I spoke about human trafficking, with the, uh, which is a most uh, if you look in African continent and also in Latin America is still a problem. You have uh, in Africa, Central Africa, you still have 
uh, child labor, you have child soldiers. These are uh, programs that I think we must focus on and wage campaign around uh, those uh, uh, programs. I think there are many programs that uh, globally uh, youth organization regardless of uh, affiliation, uh, we can actually have programs that we can uh, unite around that. I, I guess I tried my best uh, to answer your question, though it's not an easy uh, question to have uh, a prescriptive uh, answer uh, because challenges that we have global are not, uh, some are not uh, universal, some are universal, but we need to focus on those youth uh, issues that are universal, which I mentioned, and I think I've not mentioned them all, uh, but I tried my best. Uh, to respond to your question. Um, thank you. Thank you, Comrade Mabuse. I, I think those are very important uh, um, points that organizations globally, um, youth organizations that identify with internationalism and international solidarity should, should be pure, pure, preoccupied with um, the issue of child labor in Asia and, and Africa. I think it's very important. We live in a global community and like the saying says, uh, no man is an island. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for accepting our invitation and thank you very much for being with us today. Yeah, thanks for your time uh, and thanks uh, for the invitation. Well, I still really appreciate the invite. Uh, we should all try our best time to time to come and interact uh, uh, with you just to share views. Uh, our views are not uh, a be all and all. It's views that uh, is, uh, are constructed and are work in progress for engagements. And uh, surely we'll uh, pen something that is very constructive in response to the the topic that you have given us, I think uh, will ensure that you get uh, uh, that uh, paper uh, so that we indulge also for purpose of distribution amongst uh, uh, members and the society at large. Thank you very much. Thank you, Goodbye. Okay.